I first started to create art like as soon as I could pick up a pencil practically and I started drawing like things that I saw from life. I had a cat that I would draw like when I was three. In terms of subject matter, I like to draw a variety of different things from like everyone loves pirates, everyone loves like animals and things like that. So I like to combine and mix mash and do a lot of different subject matter. Why I like to draw art and do things like that is that it's a really fun experience for me because I like to see how other people react to my art. If people interpret my art differently, I feel like it's a good thing actually because they get something different out of it than like what I'm intending basically and so they get their own sort of experience. You know, art isn't that the holder. I love designing early in the two-dimensional stage because it's quick and it's really easy but when you start getting into final product a lot of the 3D stuff is really what I really like to get really nitty gritty in to like all the details and get uh, a fully fleshed out model in a scene and a lot of it's going back and forth between the two because ultimately you're more than likely going to see it as a two-dimensional image. Before I would say that it was like pencil drawings and I'd just be in that. Now that I've come to Ringling here, I've started working a lot more digitally, like almost all my stuff is digital now. And even now I'm moving into sculpting and the, into actual uh, the ZBrush and digital sculpting, and so that's really fun. I like a lot of things that come from nature and doing a lot of research and going on boards and things like that, figuring out like doing the research really makes me excited about what I'm doing a lot of the times and putting in that extra effort to find and figure out where that stuff is and like what contextually relates to your art really sets it apart, I feel. I feel like it shows an array of art styles and art professionals that uh, people are going to be able to take home and really look through and see like what's behind the big, you know, production drawings basically. It's more than just an art of book, it's a book of all these different artists from different various backgrounds. I would like to be a part of the Design Unscripted too because it reaches so many audiences and it's such a great way to get your artwork out.